Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of Digital VE Days. My name is Ida Son and I will moderate this webinar today. We are very pleased that you took the time to participate in our webinar, in our next session. The topic of today is two point detection to protect humans and machines. Our speaker today is Borwin Michael, who is working as a product manager at Wert Electronic ISAS. Before we start with the webinar, a short, short information for you. You will be muted um, during the webinar today. This means then you, that you cannot ask us questions via your microphone, but you have the chance to ask your questions anytime in the Q&A tool. You can find this below on the right side at the question mark button. Today's webinar will be about 30 minutes long and after that we will come to the Q&A session. If we are unable to answer all these questions within this time, we will answer them um, yeah, after the webinar uh, via email in the next days. Last information, um, you will all receive the, the link to the recording of this uh, session and the pre presentation also of this session um, in the next days. Now I wish you an exciting and interesting webinar and now I give it to you, Bonwin. Uh, thank you, Silas, for the opportunity. Uh, so uh, today I, uh, we are here to explore a subject that often goes unnoticed, but plays a vital role in ensuring our safety and and the efficient functioning of the machines that power our modern world. So I would like to give you a short introduction to the topic, which is the dew point detection to protect humans and machines. So just think about the, the think about the comfort of our indoor spaces or the smooth operation of our critical industrial machinery. You know, uh, both rely on maintaining optimal humidity levels and the dew point is our guiding star in this process. But what happens uh, when we deviate from the dew point, either intentionally or unintentionally? So we are all experience the discomfort of a hot, muggy day, and we all know the impact it can have on our well-being. In the case of machinery, deviations from the dew point can lead to inefficiencies, wear and tear, and costly breakdowns. So I would like to give you some essential about the dew points. It's a fundamental metrological and industrial concept. And it's a temperature at which the air, water in air reaches saturations. You might have seen in the weather graph or weather map, you'll see some points as dew points, which is just mentioned like you know, degree centigrade, 15, 14, 12. So these all are the dew points. We will come into the more interview points in coming slides. So the key topics for today is through the presentation, we will delve into understand the dew point, the wide ranging importance of dew point measurement and how we are measuring the dew point real time and its applications and the benefits and some case studies. So dew point, what is dew point? The dew point is a crucial meteorological parameter, as I said before, that tells us at what temperature air becomes saturated with moisture, leading to the formation of dew or condensation. So let's try to calculate the dew point. As you all know, the dew point is something related to humidity and temperature. The basic equation to find the dew point from the temperature and the humidity is T. DP, which means dew point in degrees Celsius is, is equal to the temperature, the current temperature in degrees Celsius minus 100 minus relative current, relative humidity divided by five. From this, we can calculate the basics. I mean, on the, the dew point, which is the basic formula to find the dew point. For example, here we can see uh, at 15 degrees centigrade, Let's consider the humidity rate, humidity 75 percentage, then dew point is 10 degrees centigrade. 
So as, as temperature increases, you can see 25, 35, the capacity of air to hold the water also increases. So for, so as the dew point and the relative humidity decreases. So there is a relationship between humidity and the temperature to the dew point. So let's explore the importance of the dew point in human safety. Dew point measurements plays a critical role in ensuring human safety in the following ways. Preventing heat stress. In hot and humid environments, the dew point provides a valuable information to prevent heat stress. When the dew point is close to or higher than the actual air temperature, it can be a sign of oppressive heat where the body is able to cool down itself but through sweat is significantly affected. Monitoring the dew point helps us to take precautions to avoid heat-related illness or discomfort. Next is preventing hypothermia. On the other side, in cold and damp conditions, a low dew point can lead to the risk of hypothermia. So understanding the dew point aids in assessing the risk of cold-related injuries and adapting protective measures. The next one is enhancing indoor air quality. Indoor environments can experience poor air quality due to inadequate ventilation and high humidity. So by monitoring the dew point, we can regulate the heat, ventilation, and air conditioning systems more efficiently, more effectively and efficiently, ensuring an optimal indoor and air quality and preventing discomfort or health issues among, among us. The next point is improving safety of outdoor activities. We all know people are going outside for the activities like hiking, camping, so on, so for outdoor enthusiasts. The dew point provides insight into weather conditions. So we can plan, if you, go, if you are planning for hiking or outdoor activities, by knowing the dew point, we can plan whether there will be heat stress or something uncomfortable situation will arise. So we can plan our outdoor activities as per, as per looking into a dew point. So uh, next, as we have seen the dew point's pivotal role in ensuring human safety and well-being in diverse environments. However, its significance doesn't stop there. Dew point measurement is also integral to safeguarding machines and equipment in wide range of industries. Dew point measurement is not only crucial for human safety, but also plays a vital role in safeguarding machines and equipment various diseases, as I said before. So the first point is goes to preventing corrosion. As we all know, the dew point will, after the dew point, the water inside the air saturates and which start to condense, which also forms a water content in the machineries, which will also causing the corrosion. So knowing the dew point at the right time, we can control this condensation, we can avoid this and so on, we can avoid the corrosion. So extending the machinery lifespan. Controlling the humidity level within the machinery and industrial equipment is essential to prevent the wear and tear, rust and premature aging. So it's clear the dew point measurement helps to extend the lifespan of the critical machinery, reducing the need for costly replacements. Next point is ensuring electronic component reliability. Electronic devices and components are sensitive to moisture. As we all know, there will be MSL bags for the safe keeping the electronic components. A low dew, a low dew point helps to maintain the reliability and functionality of electronic systems, ensuring they operate optimally and have a longer service life. Enhancing process efficiency. Industries such as pharmaceuticals, fruit protections, and automotive manufacturing rely on precise humidity control, so the dew point. So the dew point monitoring is essential to maintaining optimal manufacturing conditions and product quality. Energy efficiency. 
as i said in before in heat ventilation and air conditioning and also in refrigeration systems knowledge of dew point enables energy efficient operation it helps reducing energy consumption and costs by optimizing cooling process based on the humidity levels the last point is reducing maintenance cost all the points which i explained earlier can help to reduce the machinery damage and which will help us to reduce the maintenance cost so let's uh, look into how we are measuring the real time dew point as i said as we see in the equation the dew point is heavily dependent on temperature and humidity so for sure we need a data of current humidity levels especially relative humidity level and the temperature for that we need a humidity sensor or the temperature sensor for example youth has an wsc in hids humidity sensor with integrated temperature sensor which comes with a temperature sensor integrated with this sensor so this sensor is mems based capacitive sensing principle and it has a relative humidity range from 0 to 100 percentage and it is the one of the most accurate humidity sensor up to plus plus or minus 1.8 percentage of relative humidity and this also comes with integrated temperature sensor and the temperature range of the sensor from minus 40 degrees centigrade to 125 degrees centigrade and it also has a better temperature accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.2 degrees centigrade so by using this sensor we can measure the humidity and temperature of the environment and we can send this data to a microcontroller which is the heart of the system which which controls the sensor which read the data from the sensor using the data the microcontroller we can program it to derive the dew points and give it to the display or any feedback system or any anywhere we can use this data so this is a very really very basic uh, implementation how we can measure the or monitor the detector dew point using the humidity mems humidity sensor so what's the benefit of this continuous monitoring what we can do with this benefits of continuous benefits of continuous monitoring so let's talk about the benefits it's timely mitigation continuous monitoring allows for swift response to changing hum humidity conditions reducing the risk of damage to the equipment structures or products due to excessive moisture improved process control industries can optimize manufacturing process ensuring product quality and operational efficiency by maintaining precise humidity levels human safety in environments where humidity extremes can pose risks to health continuous monitoring helps protect individuals from heat stress hypothermia and other weather related hazards like we like i explained in previous slides energy efficiency in environments where humidity extremes can pose risk to health continuous monitoring can help protect sorry uh, energy efficiency it's uh, by closely monitoring humidity it's like uh, the exam which i told before that heat ventilation and air conditioning system can operate more efficiently leading to energy savings and reduced operational cost reduced downtime this is also one benefit of continuous monitoring by continuous monitoring the dew point we can predict uh, when the machine is going to be break down or we can as per the data we can control the uh, machine faults and we can reduce the downtime of the machine environmental protection industries can mitigate environmental impacts by controlling emissions and preventing excessive humidity issues such as mold and corrosion in the machines or or surroundings scientific research as we all know scientific scientists and researchers benefit from continuous monitoring to gather valuable data for climate studies environmental research and various scientific investigations quality assurance 
in in manufacturing and electronics manufacturing and in production in food industries maintaining a specific humid conditions ensures consistent consistent product quality and adherence to the industry standards and remote monitoring continuous monitoring systems can be assessed remotely enabling real time data analysis and decision making from virtually anywhere so these are the some benefits of continuous monitoring let's go to the applications where we can use these benefits in human safety in heat ventilation and air conditioning systems in buildings maintaining optimal indoor air quality and comfort in homes and commercial buildings is achieved through precise humidity control we all know this two point monitoring ensures the hit this hvac systems operates efficiently to prevent discomfort and health issues clean rooms and laboratories in control environments like clean rooms and laboratories consistent humidity levels are very much essential for experiments and the production of sensitive materials dew point monitoring helps maintain conditions conducive to research and manufacturing the next application comes in hospitals and healthcare facilities in healthcare settings humidity control is a vital patient um, vital is very vital for the patient comfort and to prevent the infections so dew point will uh, will aids in ensuring well being of the patients and the reliability of the medical equipments to to control it from forming molds and so on greenhouse and agriculture the greenhouses rely on humidity control to create a ideal growing conditions for plants dew point monitoring assist in optimizing crop growth and preventing diseases which may be spread to the humans also so like mold as i said in the last points it also can reduce the mold growing around the greenhouses next is food processing food processing facilitates use humidity control to maintain the quality and safety of food products monitoring dew point is very much crucial for compl compliance with food safety and regulation its regulations uh we all experienced with personal protective equipment pp kits during the corona time so in industrial settings uh, workers may use the pp kit or pp mask or something to safeguard against extreme environmental conditions so dew point monitoring can help to design uh, to select suitable protective gear to ensure safety in such situations these applications highlights in a versatile role of dew point and humidity monitoring in preserving human safety across spectrum of environments from indoor spaces to specialist facilities let's uh, consider the application in equipment protection first comes electronics manufacturing as i said in previous slides the electronics in in electronics manufacturing the humidity control of humidity humidity and dew point is very much essential the electronic components during the production and storage it's very much essential to to keep it in a controlled environment where humidity and so the dew point is monitor is real time or continuously monitoring dew point monitor ensures conditions that mitigate the risk of electro est discharge electrostatic discharge and corrosion and food and beverage industry humidity control is integral in maintaining the quality and safety of products in food and beverage sector dew point monitoring aids in preventing moisture related spoilage and ensuring the integrity of packaging materials printing and paper industries where they use most of water content there so we'll see how we can benefit from the continuous monitoring of dew point so maintaining precise humidity level is essential in printing and paper industries to prevent paper expansion and contraction which can affect print quality so dew point monitoring helps in ensuring consistent consistent production and product quality environmental chambers 
environmental chambers are used for testing some equipment and materials under specific environmental conditions. So, for example, we need to test some sensors and in environmental chambers, we need to keep the sensor inside the chamber and we need to operate the chamber at specific humidity, which needs to be in a, which needs to be in a precise control or precise accurate. So, accurate humidity control monitored through a dew point is crucial for replicating or validating real world, real world conditions inside the chamber to test the equipment. These applications underscore the versatility of dew point and humidity monitoring technology in protecting equipments. So let's uh, go into the case study uh, for the case study for the equipment protection. So the study which I took is the corrosion caused by dew point and delicicent salts in the boiler and flow gas cleaning. So it was a study by some scientists to know the cause the dew whether the how much the dew point or can be used to control the corrosion inside the boiler and flow gas cleaning. So as the background of the study, the study was conducted by some scientists in the field of waste management, specifically related to boiler and flow gas cleaning systems. So the problem was the primary problem under examination was the influence of the dew point and the delicicent salt on the corrosion mechanisms affecting the equipment. Delicicent salts are substances uh, that absorb moisture from the air and become corrosive when deposited on the surfaces. So let's go to some findings of the study. The study likes to reveal the specific mechanism and the conditions under which dew point and delicicent salts contribute to corrosions. These findings shed light on the importance of continuous dew point monitoring and control to protect the equipment. The, the, data, the data likely to be emphasized to need for a proactive measures to prevent corrosion, corrosion in industrial systems. Let's see the significance of the study. This study demonstrate the real world implications of inadequate equipment protection against corrosion. It also underlines the need for strategies like continuous dew point monitoring to safeguard industrial equipments, as like we explained in the previous slides. So in our exploration, in our exploration of significance of dew point monitoring, let's examine a case study in the healthcare setting that sheds light into the relationship between air quality, health indices, and the role of dew point. So the study was a case study of air quality and health index of report, uh, urban and uh, high traffic location in Rhoda city. So let's go to the background of the study. This study was conducted by some scientists and delved into air quality and health indices in different locations within some city. It aimed to investigate the air quality in areas with potential healthcare relevances. So the problem statement. The primary concern addressed in the study was the assessment of air quality in locations with potential healthcare relevance, particularly in urban and high traffic areas. This research highlighted the critical importance of air quality within healthcare environments. Findings of the study. The study likely examined the relationship between air quality, including dew point and health indices in different locations of this city. Insights into this study insights into how dew point affect the healthcare environment, environments and patient well-being. Significance. This case study significantly demonstrate the relevance of the dew point monitoring in healthcare settings. It's emphasized the role of dew point assessing in and improving air quality for patients and healthcare providers. So it's very much evident that in real life studies or real life, we are experiencing the the we are experiencing or we need the better equipment or better control system or to monitor the dew point and for the well-being of us as well as the efficiency of the machines and well-being of the machines. So let's consider some future development in this area. We can expect some miniatures, miniaturization and portability. 
maybe in future there will be a smaller and more portable equipments to measure or to detect the dew point and it can be easily integrated to various applications and it can be integrated to iot the internet of things is set to play a significant role in evaluation of dew point monitoring so the iot integration enables real-time data collection and transmission resulting in more precise and cost-effective solutions so that's what i said it, it there can be a more precise and cost-effective solutions in future with the help of iot and automation and so on so uh, ongoing research into the innovative sensor materials maybe we can expect in the future so research into the innovative sensor material so these materials can offer improved sensitivity and accuracy in dew point measurements maybe in future we can expect a multi-parameter sensors so it measures the multiple parameters such as temperature humidity and pressure so that the sensor which I explained in the previous slide, the view HIDS has an integrated temperature and hum in the humidity sensor. So in future, we may can expect some other sensor also integrated in the humidity sensor for the better accuracy to avoid any mistakes or any error. So let's come into the conclusion of this section. So the key, ta key takeaways. So dew point measurement is undeniably crucial for a wide, wide array or wide range of industries and above all human safety. It serves as a friend line defense against moisture related issues, encompassing corrosion in machinery and equipment and health concerns in various environments. So different detection methods and systems are available tailored to meet the specific requirements and various applications. Significance. Dew point measurement isn't just a technical detail, it's a paramount factor in maintaining safety, efficiency, and product quality. It has the potential to save both human lives and a significant cost associated with equipment damage, underscoring its profound importance in our daily life. Call to action. Uh, we urge industry to adopt dew point monitoring system as a proactive measure to protect their investments and most importantly ensure the safety of individuals within the around their facilities also we advocate or we be uh, promoting ongoing research and development efforts to improve detection accuracy and reduce the low cost and push the boundaries of what dew point monitoring can achieve so these are the reference which I took for this presentation. And thank you so much uh, for bearing with me for the time. So I expect some questions from you. So now, um, first question, um, what rule do data and analytics and IoT integration, oh, sorry, cannot see the question. Can you scroll over? Yes, nee, ganz oben. Yeah, so address the challenge of uh, consideration in industrial settings and what are some potential cost saving implications? Uh, okay. Uh, so it's regarding the data analytics and IoT integration. So data analytics and IoT, uh, if I heard uh, correct, can you, can you repeat the question again? Because there was an issue with the words. Hasselas. So sorry. Uh, can you repeat the question again? Because I it was not clear for me. Ah yeah. Um the question was uh, how do memes immunity sensor address the challenge of consid con in okay. industrial settings and what okay. are some potential cost saving implications? Yeah, understand. Okay, yeah. Thank you for the question. And uh, as you all know, MEMS is microelectromechanical systems. So the humidity sensors are mostly comes with the MEMS uh, format, which is a very uh, 
a small factor and it has more high efficiency or high uh, accuracy so it can be used for the real time monitoring and it has some digital interface which can be connected to the uh, microcontroller and uh, we can get the high accurate data from the sensor and it can be used as a feedback control to control the ventilation and uh, so on the cost savings so uh, this in this way we can uh, address the challenge of condensation so using the humidity mems humidity sensor we can uh, monitor the humidity and so the dew point and we will we can uh, challenge, we can overcome the challenges of this in this area okay next question what rule do data analytics and iot integration play in maximum the benefits of real time Two point monitoring for human and machine protection. Mm, yeah, so the data analytics, uh, the data that we are getting from this setup or the dew point, the real time dew point, we can uh, study on the data and we can we can aggregate or we can find uh, some pattern, some some useful pattern uh, which can be used for the predictive maintenance, and uh, we can also forecast uh, or the weather or what we can we can do a lot of things with this. Uh, data analytics and for the if you integrate the sensor or they integrate the system to iot uh, we can we can do a lot of things like uh, predictive maintenance as i said before automation you can automate the system the feedback loop you can control it and we can also give some alerts and uh, notifications when it's some let's see some humidity or dew point levels we can give the user or any person some warnings or anything also it also we can do it from remotely so these are the benefits or these are the role of data analytics and iot this this field okay thank you uh, next question in what ways can do point measurement technology assist in predicting and preventing mold growth in buildings yeah so as we all know i mean this mold growth usually happens where there are there is humidity is more especially in the bathrooms and toilets so if we have the continuous or real time uh, data from the humidity or the from the humidity sensor we can we can calculate the dew point and we can uh, control the heat ventilation air conditioning system for the proper ventilation and to avoid the condensation near this where the humidity is high we can have more ventilation there and to avoid the condensation near the place so this can be useful to avoid the mold growth where there are more humid or condensation can take place okay um next question do you offer a complete humidity sensor with a microcontroller or only a smd part yeah it's an only smd part but we also give all the support to 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 put into operation all the sensor sdk files all the cat files equal files so we will support in every way every case to put the sensor into operation from the designing the boards till getting the data from the sensor okay Thank you. Um, so, yeah, no more questions uh, are in the chat now. So I think we are finished with this session. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Bonwin, for your time and for the interesting presentation. So hopefully we see you all in the in the last session of Digital We Days today. And yeah, yeah. have a great day and bye bye. Thank you.